So I've been uh, looking for gas bubbles coming out of inclusions and uh, indeed once you get your eye in you actually see more and more of them. Here's another one, a little gas bubble just above this inclusion and uh, just over here is yet another one. It's just about the right size to kind of get a good feel for it. And here we have the inclusion and just above it is a gas bubble. Here we have a big inclusion, I hammered a piece off. This is the lighter grey material, that's where I hammered. And just above we have this heart-shaped little gas bubble and in 3D this would almost look like as if it came out of this inclusion. And then of course there's the big one down here that I've shown before. There we have the big inclusion and there's this smooth inner surface of a larger gas bubble that also connects to it and it seems to have uh, emanated from this inclusion. Amphibole has about yeah, two, two and a half percent water and uh, this water would not be held in the mineral when the mineral is decompressed. So I'm starting to get the sense that uh, some of these inclusions are adding volatiles to the system here when they move upwards and therefore it will add volume to the conduit and uh, this would help to drive this material high up so that it has an auto volatile source included if you will and this is an intriguing hypothesis to test. So here wonderful kind of inclusion and uh, here at the margins it almost looks as if the inclusions are um, a little bit uh, oriented parallel to the margin while in the middle here they're more randomly oriented. And here as well at the margin on the other side. So this one is uh, oriented a bit like this. And this one here is also oriented a bit like this. And here this one here is a bit like this. Uh, while in the center they are kind of more random. And I think this means that in the center there may have been a bit of backflow of material. Maybe it was still liquid in the interior, while the uh, solidification at the margins would have come from upward motion or during upward motion, and the interior then sagged back a little bit. Uh, that's at least what I, I kind of interpret here. Well, thank you very much, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that. What a beautiful kind of look into a conduit that brings material from the underplating zone deep under the volcano. Mind-boggling, if you ask me. Thanks a million. And now we're packing up. And I say thank you and all the very best.